Welcome everyone to the light of Zion. The light of Zion is our God's word. Yahuwah's word is a lamp for our feet and the light for the road that we travel. Shine your light, O Yahuwah, let it lead us to your holy mountains. Shine your light, O Yahuwah, let it lead us back to Zion. Shine your light and let it guide us on our journey back to you. Shine your light for it is good for me. And with that, I say, welcome to the light of Zion. It's my pleasure to come to you again with another interesting Bible discussion. Again, this is a presentation from the light of Zion coming to you. Uh, I thank all of you who has been watching our presentations and uh, I hope you are benefiting from them. So it's my pleasure bring, to bring to you another presentation and this one is titled Freedom at last, an independent day for the remnant of Israel. Yes, freedom at last. Yes, the descendants of the remnant of Jacob will be freed from uh, our perpetual slavery to the nations. So the day when Israel is freed from this bondage is when we we say freedom at last so join me as we break this presentation down uh, what is freedom for the people of israel why are we yearning for freedom well slavery and oppression was foretold to follow Israel, even up to fourth generation or cycle. Yes, slavery was foretold or was imposed to follow the descendants of Abraham, even up to a fourth time. Israel will be enslaved by in the hands of the nations. So in the book of Genesis chapter 15 verse 13 to 16 there it is written Yahuwah then said to Abraham said know for certain that your offspring will be foreigners in a land not theirs and that the people there will enslave them and afflict them for 400 years but I will judge the nation or nations that they will serve. And after that, they will go out with many goods. But they will return here in the fourth generation because the error of the Amorite has not yet reached its full measure. So Yahuwah foretold that the descendants of Abraham, that is Israel, will return back to the promised land in their fourth generation in the promised land to inherit the land forever. Yes, after many nations have enslaved them or made them their slave. So, yes, true descendants of Abraham, Israel will be marked and identified 
by the slavery and oppression that we continue to follow them until their fourth generation in, the, in their promised land, that is, in their fourth time of inheriting the promised land. So for four time Israel will be under, we have to go into slavery to serve other nations until the four time when they return to the promised land is when they will inherit it forever. So the book of prophet Jeremiah uh, confirmed this when he wrote in the book of Jeremiah chapter 25 verse 14. There it is written, For many nations and great kings will make slaves of them, and I will repair them according to their deeds and the works of their hands. So Jeremiah confirmed that many nations will make Israel, will make Israel the descendant, chosen descendant of Abraham, their slaves. But God said that he will do what? Repair every nation that have enslaved his chosen people. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68, there it is written, And Yahuwah will certainly bring you back to Egypt by ship. By the way that I told you, you will never see it again. And there you will have to sell yourself to your enemies as male and female slaves, but there will be no buyer. So Yahuwah foretold to Israel that he is going to bring them back into Egypt. Egypt represents slavery to Israel. So he said he's going to bring them back into slavery, even though he told them they are not going to go back the same way. But he's going to take them into slavery, this time by ship. Okay? So this helps you to identify the people that God is dealing with. Yes, it helps you to identify the people that God is dealing with. The people that he sent into slavery. Again, by ship. So, which race has been oppressed and enslaved like the Negro, the black race? Which race today is known to have fulfilled the prophecies of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 to 68? You give me your alternative evidence or do your own research based on what is written. And you will agree that the Negro is the one that has fulfilled the prophecies and the Negroes are really the true people of Israel, descendants of Abraham that God is dealing with. So yes, slavery is a sign that God imposed or placed on the descendant of Abraham that he is dealing with. He said many nations will make them their slave, but at the end he's going to do what? Repair the nation for what they have done to Israel, his people. So, Yahuwah said he's going to bring Israel into slavery, into Egypt again, or into slavery again, but this time, Nobody's going to bring them out like he brought them out out of Egypt. No one is going to buy them out until he returns to do what? To buy Israel out. So, so freedom will be when Yahuwah returns to get Israel out from slavery among the nations. Yes, when Israel is left to the nations no more, that will be true freedom for all the descendants of Israel, the descendants of Abraham. Well, let's look at 
the pattern of Israel's slavery so far. The first slavery and affliction of the people of Israel is by the Egyptians. And you can read about this in the book of Exodus chapter 1 verse 1 to 14. That is the first slavery and affliction of the people of Israel. There we are afflicted in the land of Egypt. The second slavery and affliction for the people of Israel is in the hands of the Assyrians and also the later the Babylonians that took Israel away from their from their promised land and enslaved them in their nations. Israel served 70 years of slavery in the land of Babylon. The third slavery and affliction of Israel is by the Grecians. Yes, Israel was taken away from their lands by the Greeks. You can read about this in the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 3 to 6. You find out that Israel we are sold to the Grecians as slaves taken away from their land. So Israel returned for the third generation before the Messiah and the Messiah was born. And the Messiah himself foretold about the fault, slavery and affliction for the people of Israel, which he did in the book of Rome, in the book of Luke chapter 21 verse 20 to 24 there he, he foretold that when you see Jerusalem surrounded by an encamped army you should know that the time for the desolation of Jerusalem is again to take place when you see the Roman army coming in you know that it's time so let them flee to the mountains so because another slavery and affliction was foretold for the people of Israel but this time is going to take Israel Israel will be scattered among the nations as Yahuwah has foretold so with each generation and each cycle the enemy invader nation took Israel away from the promised land to a foreign land to enslave them Yes, that has been the pattern of Israel enslavement and affliction. The enemy comes enslaved to take Israel away to a foreign land and there enslaves Israel. So remember what was foretold that Israel will continue to go to this cycle until their fourth time, the fourth time when Israel descendants return to inherit the promised land, then they will inherit it forever. So freedom will be when Israel is a slave to the nations no more. So since the fourth scattering and, of, and captivity of Israel, Israel has now returned to the promised land and Israel will not return to the promised land until Yahuwah buys us back from among the nations remember I said no one will buy you out you will sell yourself as slaves female male and female slaves and nobody will buy you out Israel will continue to serve as slaves among the nations until Yahuwah our God returns to buy us out from among the nations, from to get us, set us, get us, or set us free from us enslavement among the nations. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39, there is written, Yahuwah said, See now that I, I am He, and there are and no gods apart from me I put to death and I will make her life I wound and I will heal and no one can rescue from my hand 
So Yahuwah said, he's the one that have foretold these things. He's the one that we put Israel to death because of our error. And he's the one that will heal Israel. He's the one that will buy us back at the appointed time. So nobody can rescue anything from his hand. So, yes, after the fourth generation or cycle of slavery and affliction in the hands of of Israel in the hands of the nations. Yahuwah our God will rescue and save his chosen people. So he will grant us freedom and independence from the hands of from the nations. Yes, after our after our fourth generation cycle of slavery and affliction ends among the nations, Yahuwah will grant freedom to his chosen people. So, Freedom and Independence Day. We, there is a day for freedom and independence day for all the, all through, this, through Israel. But the question is, when will it be? When will it take place? When will Israel, through Israel, see or experience freedom from slavery from the hands of the nations? In the book of Hosea, chapter 1, in the book of Hosea, chapter 6, verse 2, there it is written, Yahuwah said, He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up, and we will live before him. So it was foretold that God will punish Israel, all Israel, for our error of leaving him to serve other gods for two days. Yes, for two days he will punish Israel. And during this punishment time is when Israel will be scattered among the nations. And Apostle Peter reminds us of this in 2 Peter chapter 2. I mean 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 8. There is written. Say, however, do not let this escape your notice, beloved ones, that one day with Yahuwah is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So for these two days of punishment on Israel because of our error is going to be a 2,000 years punishment because of our error before Yahuwah will return to gather back or to repurchase Israel to free us from the slavery, our slavery and affliction among the nations. So Towards the end of the 2,000 years slavery and affliction, Yahuwah will fight with the nations in order to gather back his chosen people of Israel. And then he will grant us freedom from slavery. And that's when we are going to say, free at last, free at last. Thank God we are free at last. Yes, that is when true descendants of Israel will see freedom from slavery to the nations. And that day is coming. According to the book of Jeremiah, notice what is written in, in Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 1 to 9. There it is written, for look, the day are coming, declares Yahuwah, when I will gather the captive of my people Israel and Judah, says Yahuwah, and I will bring them back to the land that I gave to their forefathers, and they will possess it once again. So these are the words of Yahuwah. These are the words that Yahuwah spoke to Israel and Judah. So this is what, what Yahuwah says. We, ha we have heard the sound of trembling. There is terror and no peace. 
ask please whether a man can give birth. He said, why do I see every strong man with his hand on his stomach, like a woman giving birth? He said, why has every face turned pale? He said, alas, for that day is a terrible one. There is none like it, a time of distress for Jacob, but he will be saved out of it. And in that day, declares Yahuwah of armies, I will break the yoke from you off your neck, and your straps I will tear in two, and no more will strangers make, their, make him their slave. So they will serve Yahuwah their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up for them. So through the prophet Jeremiah, Yahuwah foretold that the day is coming when he will gather back the captive of his people who are scattered among the nations. Yes, he said this day is coming because he is going to go to war with the nations. That is why every strong man of the nations will have their hands on their stomach like one giving birth because Yahuwah will knock the wind off their all off of them. He will fight with them and he will bring the nations down. Every strong man will have their hands on their stomach because they will not be able to stand what Yahuwah will do to them. So yes, that day is going to be a terrible day. Okay? But Yahuwah promised that he would do what? Break the yokes of the nations off our neck. He said he will break our straps. Straps is what they, what they tie up, that how they chain, um, they chain um, sla slaves in those days. They tie them with straps so that the slave cannot be freed. Remember Yahuwah said no one can buy you or get you free. Well, Yahuwah said he's going to do what? Break the yoke from your neck, from our neck. And he was going to tear a strap into two in order to free his people. Says so strangers will no longer make Israel their slave. Rather, Israel will return and Israel will serve Yahuwah their God and David their king that he will raise up for them. So this day is coming, the day of freedom, and we are going to sing, freedom at last, freedom at last, thank God we are free at last. The day is coming. For Yahuwah we do it. So, Freedom Day and Independence Day for all through Israel. According to what is written, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 10 to 11, there is written, And you, my servant, my servant Jacob, said, Do not be afraid, declares Yahuwah, and do not be terrified, O Israel, for I will save you from afar, and your offspring from the lands of their captivity. Said so Jacob will return and will be we become an undisturbed with no one to make them afraid. For I am with you, declares Yahuwah, to save you. But I will make an extermination among all the nations to which I scatter you. However, you I will not exterminate. I will discipline you to the proper degree. And I will by no means leave you unpunished. Yes, Yahuwah said, Do not be afraid, Israel, because he is going to do what? Save us. So he is with us to save us. Okay? But he will make extermination among the nations where he has scattered us. But he said he's going to punish us to
to the proper degree. He will not leave us unpunished because of our error. But at the end of his punishing us, he is going to make an extermination among the nations in order to gather back Israel, to gather back his chosen ones. So Yahuwah will war with the nations and he will exterminate them so as to gather back his chosen ones of Israel. Alas, for that day is coming and it's going to be a terrible one. That is what is written. So Israel, do not be afraid. Your God is coming to save you. Your God is coming to break the, the yoke of the nations off your neck. And your strap he will break into two. And he will set the captives free. So, yes, that day of freedom and independence is coming. The final judgment. Yahuwah already have said it that he will make extermination among the nations and he will also make an extermination among his people of Israel. But he will not completely annihilate or exterminate his people of Israel. But for the nations he is going to exterminate everyone in order to gather back his people. So in the book of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 21 and 23 there is written Only a remnant will return the remnant of Jacob to the mighty God For though your people O Israel are as the grain of the sand of the sea Only a remnant of them will return And extermination has been decided on And justice will engulf them Yes, the extermination decided on by the sovereign law Yahuwah will be carried, Yahuwah families will be carried out in the entire land. So Yahuwah already made the decision that he's going to exterminate many. He's going to put many to death. But he will not completely exterminate all Israel. But he will gather back a remnant that he will save, salvage, a remnant of Jacob. In the book of Leviticus chapter 20, 26 verse 44, there it is written, So despite all of this, while they are in the land of their enemies, I will not completely reject them nor cast them away. To the point of exterminating them, which could violate my covenant with them, for I am Yahuwah their God. So Yahuwah said, while we are in captivities, in slavery, among the seven the nations, because of our error, he said he will not completely what annihilate us because of what we have our ancestors have done. He said that we violate his covenant that he has made with us. Remember he said he is going to be God to us. So he will save a remnant of us that he will gather back to himself. But the rest will be exterminated. That will be the day of the final judgment. Yes, the same extermination that will take place among the nations which Yahuwah will carry out in order to gather back his chosen people, he will also carry extermination of unrepentant sinners of Israel, those who refuse to return to seek for their God, those who have continued to follow the nations, to serve the false gods of the nations, he will make an extermination. But he will save a remnant that will return, those who are seeking for him, those who are asking for his mercy. He will save a remnant.
In the book of Lamentation, chapter 3, verse 22, it is written, It is because of Yahuwah's loyal love that we have not come to our finish. For His mercies never ends. So, because of Yahuwah's loyal love, that is why Israel's descendants has not been completely wiped out because of our error. But because of his loyal love, he has continued to preserve us alive and he has not given to us what we deserve. But he sent us among the nations to be punished, to be humiliated, so that we, that a few can be saved so that a few that can repent can be saved. So, because of his loyal love, we have not come to our finish. In the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6, there it is written, For I am Yahuwah, I do not change. And you, the sons of Jacob, you have not, come yet, you have not yet come to your finish. So Yahuwah said, we have not yet come to our finish because he has not changed from his loyal love towards us. But he has kept preserving us alive. It doesn't matter what the nations have done to us, he still preserves a remnant of us so that he can show his mercy on some of us, those that we repent, those that we turn around and return to seek for him. So we, that's why we have not come to our finish, Israel, because of the loyal love of our God. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 3 to 4, there it is written, For I am Yahuwah your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I have given Egypt as a ransom for you, Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you. For you became precious in my eyes, so you were honored, and I have loved you. So I will give people in place of you, and nations in exchange for your life. So Yahuwah said, Israel, you are precious to him. Yes, you are precious to him. You has chosen you to serve to serve him. So he said he is, your, uh, he is our savior. He saved us from Egypt, from slavery. He saved us from Babylonian slavery. He delivered us from the hands of the Grecians. He will again deliver Israel from among the nations where we have been scattered to be a punishment for our error. So he said he has loved us. So he has given nations in exchange for us, and he will again give peoples and nations in exchange for our life. So, in the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 10, it's written, So look, the eyes of the sovereign Lord Yahuwah are on the sinful kingdom. And he will and he will annihilate it from the surface of the land. But I will not completely what annihilate the house of Jacob, declares Yahuwah. So Yahuwah said he's watching what is going on. He's watching how they are treating his people, his chosen people. Among this territory of wickedness where we have gone to serve punishments. He said his eyes is on these nations, on this sinful kingdom. At the appointed time, he said he will completely what? Annihilate the nations from among the, na from among the surface of the earth. But Israel, he will not completely what? Annihilate. That is what Yahuwah has declared. That he will annihilate 
the sinful kingdom. But Israel, he will not what annihilate. So, yes, the day, freedom will be the day Israel is delivered or liberated from serving slavery among the nations. The day that Yahuwah breaks our yoke and our straps off our neck. The day that he sets the captives of Israel free. That will be the day that we are going to say, free at last, free at last, thank God we are free at last. So that will be a, a great day. That will be a great day. Uh, when Yahuwah delivered Israel from, from our enemies in the past, we thought we were dreaming. We thought it was like a dream. But Yahuwah came and Yahuwah acted and Yahuwah delivered his people. Even so, it will be again when Yahuwah delivered his deliver breaks our yoke and set the captive free again. We will be free at last. So Israel, seek Yahuwah your God. Search for him and plead for, with him for mercy. Plead for him to save you. Turn around and start seeking Yahuwah. Leave the gods of the nations alone. If you do, you may be among the remnant that will be free at last when Yahuwah God returns to take action on our behalf. So until I come to you again from the light of Zion, remain blessed and keep pleading with the Most High for His mercy upon His people of Israel. Thank you.